Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this thank you card. I'm still carrying on with my thank you season. Um, I am going to change the colours on this. Just so you know. The stamp sets I use. That's right, there's two stamps. in Two sets in this, two brand new ones. The first one is Humming Along. And I'm going to use that flower and the leaf and the word thank you and for the little flower I'm using all that you are cling stamp and we're just going to use that one these are in the new spring catalogue which will be available in January for you to order and if you order I have got the bundle in this so it's got dice to match. There's the leaf and the flower, which I've used. I've already cut them out because of my back. I cannot lift my um, big shot up at the moment. So that's all done. I have to sit on the floor and cut them out. So I've used them already. I've cut them out already. If you order the bundle and this one, you'll qualify for a free stamp set from the celebration which have got some lovely stamps in this time I must add so to get started we are going to need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored and folded in half and I'm using Highland Heather for this one you need two pieces of white card stock for one for the middle one for the front and they measure three and seven eighths by five and five eighths and you'll just need some scrap to do your um, stamping and colouring on this one I have used Stampin' Up's petal uh, embossing folder which I've already done here and that will go on the front and this is my scrap bit. So, to get stamping, I've mounted the stamps already. So, we've got the big flower, the leaf, and the thank you stamp. So, with Memento Black Ink, I'm only going to stamp one, but you do need two. But I'm only going to stamp one just to show you what I've done so I'll just stamp that there and I will colour this in for you and I need to clean it have to think about getting out a new piece of cloth this one's absolutely bogging but it cleans my stamps up lovely still right we need one leaf which I'll just put there We don't need that anymore. We do need Highland Heather ink <laughs> and the word thank you. Just stamp there. We will have to cut that out because I haven't got one of them cut out. the stamping done. Oh, I'll leave that there. Put this away. It's 
cut this out, all I did was follow the word, leaving a tiny, tiny border. so it doesn't leave a sharp point I do take my time when I'm cutting these out like this but I do like cutting the words out How much of this you're seeing? So I do tend to move away from camera. Not thinking about it, that's my problem. There's the word thank you. I do like them when they cut out like that. I've got a nice cup of tea here. Thanks to hubby. Right, let's colour these in. To colour these in, I'm using Highland Heather. Oh, Highland Heather, light and dark. Granny Apple Green, light and dark, and Daffodil Delight, dark. So with the Daffodil Delight, since I've only got one bit to colour, and that's this bud, I believe. I don't know what the middle of the flower thing's called. And then with the dark Granny Apple Green, I just did the stem that come out. Also, and then I just followed the lines on the leaves and just did a line of. Granny Apple Green with the light I just coloured it in
blends in the dark of it. Let's do this a little bit darker. And then the flower, all I did was with the dark, that's light, that's dark, and the bullet end I just did the same, went down the lines with the dark. And then I went round the edge of the flowers, just the tops of them. And I also coloured in the um, I don't know what this is called base of a flower. I'm sure there's a name for it. Um, and then I did a few, just a little bit of the dark brown the middle. Then I coloured the whole thing in in light. And go over it again, but don't go to the edges. There you have your flower. And then all you do is get your dies and place that on there and run them through your big shot. Obviously you'd have to cut your flower out before you cut your leaf out because I've stamped them too close together. But that's what you do and as I've already cut mine out which are here Right, uh, I'll shove that there. So, that will go on like that. On this one you'll notice I've cut the leaf off and I've cut a bit of the stem away because I want that to go there like that. And this small flower, oh I never did that. Let me show you what I did with that. 
Fancy not doing a small flower. Never even got it out. So I've got this small flower from here, from All That You Are. And take the leaf off of there. did with that was colour these stamens, as the word, in the Daffodil Delight and with the Highland Heather Dark I just went round each one And then I also went along the bottom and just come up there. And then I went along the top like I did on the big flower. And then with the light, I coloured it all in. Blending in that dark, and there you have it. And then I had to cut that out by hand, which is quite easy to do. So that's what I did there. Did I do anything on the inside? No. So let's put this car together. Just cut that little flower out and the leaf and put them on the inside. <coughs> Got put down there. Got this leaf out. I know I've got a die for this leaf, but
bit longer, did it? Oh, let's stick the leaf down first. And then stick. There we have it. So I'm going to stick this emboss bit down. bottom flower goes down flat. This will go on dimensionals along with the little flower and the leaf. This leaf goes flat and so does this leaf. So let's stick this one down. Two on the little flower, off and this one is going to come down This one's going to sit there. Hmm. I've got this dimensional sitting on top of a dimensional. Not good. Oh, should have brought it down a bit. That's it. That's better. I can put. There we have that. And then our thank you, which we'll need the mini dimensionals for. I'll just pop a few of these on. And make sure you pop them on the 
if you cut them out, cut your name out or sentiment out like this oh, can't see any of them Okay, and you can see that one. Hmm. Better. Instead of putting the word thank you, you can actually put happy birthday. That's it. Yeah. Notice I haven't put it in the middle, I've just put it off center. Just need some gems. Let me put these away. And And we just scatter these about. Just put three on. So there you have it. One um rather flowery thank you card which I think is really pretty from one of the new stamp sets hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and press the bell button next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.